Welcome back to It's Time for Beer. It is February 14th, and I have a special beer. You might notice my collection. Poster. Shirt. A little bit of a Transformers fan. Optimus Prime. Definitely my favorite Autobot. I have a beer here that I've been holding on to for... Well, you can see on the date right here, three, what is that, three, two, 2014? It's called Optimus Prime. So I thought this would be fun because I have a collection. I have a beer that matches this, that literally the only reason I bought this beer because it said Optimus Prime. And he is my favorite Transformer. So, this beer was bottled in 2014. I have a glass. I'm also a huge Disney fan, my wife and I. So that's Cinderella's Castle. I don't know if you can see that or not. Maybe right there, Cinderella's Castle. But on the back, it says 2014. I thought that was suitable, considering this beer was bottled in 2014. All right. I got this bottle engraved for the year that we went on vacation, 2014. This is a double IPA. I'm not going to fit it all in there. This is a double IPA. It's 9% by Ruckus Brewing. And I think you can see the 2014 a little better right there. And I wonder if you can see the castle etched into the side of the glass here. Maybe. Maybe not. I don't know. Anyway, 2014, this is a double IPA. Now, this goes along with the little stone enjoy by uh, experiment that I was doing. Let's see if it still has any hop aroma. Probably not as much as I would expect from a 9% um, double IPA. Let's see what it tastes like. Well, I'm getting the sweetness out of the uh, high gravity beer. And, and there's still some hop character there. Uh, once again, well, no, I say not once again. This has actually been sitting in my closet right there. Messy room, but sitting in my closet right there pretty much since I bought it. Well, it was in my other house, in my closet. Then it ended up over here in my closet. I don't know why I put it in my closet. I, I honestly don't know why I put it in my closet. Uh, but it did end up in my closet for a while. It's been in there pretty much since I moved into this house in 2015. So pretty much a year after I got this. I don't know if I ever put this in the fridge. I might have, I might not have. But it is a very thick, sticky looking beer. Um, it kind of reminds me of, I used to work at Thomas Creek. It, you, it reminds me of Thomas Creek's Up the Creek IPA. It kind of smells like up the Creek IPA. It kind of tastes like Up the Creek IPA, but it it it's weaker. I'm, I'm assuming because it's been sitting around for so long. Now that one is a 12% beer. This one is a 9% beer. So think of all that minus 4%, 3%, whatever. Sorry, I went to public school. You know, simple math just doesn't equate with me. So, but I, I'm very impressed with the fact that this still does have hop character. It does have hop character. And there's quite a bit of it. It's not completely, it's not completely devoid of hops. And it is definitely not super strong with hops. It's, I'd say it's like right in the middle. This is what I would expect a first attempt at a, 
double IPA slash maybe weak barley wine to taste like. Kind of tastes like what what a homebrew uh, barley wine slash double IPA might taste like. But for a beer that has been sitting in a closet at room temperature, we usually keep our house in the winter, it's at about 65 to 67. In the summer, it's about 73 in here. So kind of in that range right there from 67 to 73. That's what this has been sitting at since at least 2000, the middle of 2015. That's actually not bad. I'm quite impressed with the staying power of that. So, sorry, little stall there. Uh, I don't really think there's anything else to say about this. I think the label's cool. I they they kind of modeled it after Optimus Prime, obviously, you know. G1 Optimus Prime, you think? Maybe? No. Mm -hmm. you, you, you can't have Optimus Prime sitting right here, rub off symbol, without transforming at least once. I know it's a beer review, but it's a Optimus Prime. And this is Optimus Prime. I have a couple of these. I have one sitting on my shelf back there that's transformed with this trailer, and I have this one that is not. This is the classic G1 Optimus Prime, and this is the reissue for the 20th anniversary of Transformers movie, which is right here, poster, and this goes right along with this because I also have the DVD of the Transformers the movie, and this is the fun little, ooh, 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 turns into Rodimus Prime, Optimus Prime. Yeah, sorry, I'm a nerd. I'm a nerd all around. I mean, my office is completely packed with the shelf over here. That's all Transformers. Like, G1 Transformers. So, I, I don't know what to tell you. I'm a nerd. So, let's untransform Mr. Optimus Prime right here and get him back on his perch. I actually have him displayed downstairs. I know, I'm going in eight minutes, but you know what? The beer review is pretty much over. You're just going to see me playing with my toys, which I have taken quite good care of over the years. Boop. This is from the Transformers movie. This is from when they had the Power Masters, and this is just some random thing I found in the store that I thought was cool. So, well, with that said, I will bid you adieu, and hopefully you'll be able to hear this.